Over the last two years, I've been using my iPad as my primary computer. I run this channel from it, I edit videos, write and research ideas, I even manage my life from it. Now, whether you like using uh, an iPad as a secondary computer for consuming, reading or writing, or it's your everyday carry for computing, these are my favorite iOS productivity tips for getting the best out of your iPad workflow in three sections, fast navigation and gestures, split screen and multitasking, and home screen organization. Seems absolutely fine. Hi everyone, welcome back to Better Creating. If you're new to the channel, I'm Simon and I'm trying to simplify productivity and creative life. Uh, so there's loads of videos here on intentional living, staying stress-free and productive, and on my obsession with Notion. A couple of tips in here with Notion and iPads. Let's get swipe happy. Navigation and gestures. First up, useful ways to move around easily in iOS that you might not know about. Command space or swiping down at the top in the middle will bring up the search function. But I love it as a fast way to find the app I want. Plus you can drag the apps from it whilst in another for a quick access to a split screen view like this. More on that later on. Command tab is a great way to quickly shuffle between apps. You can also use the arrow keys to move between them. And whilst holding command and pressing Q, you can close apps from here as well. You can also swipe up from the bottom to bring up the dock and swipe up fully to return to the home screen once you're in an app. Swiping down diagonally from the top right corner of the iPad brings up your control center. You can set whatever you want to be in this by going to settings, clicking on control center to add or remove controls. Pressing and holding on one of the items in the control center will offer further options around the item. I'm a big fan of keeping the screen record button in there for capturing uh, screen content for these videos. It's also a great way to get to your notes app quickly. The Apple Pencil uh, has a brilliant hidden feature where if you press on your lock screen with it, it will quickly bring up a, a hidden notes page. You can do a quick note, how good is that? If you get something wrong when you input something, try three fingers to the left to undo it three fingers to the right to redo it. That has saved me endless time. You are welcome. Screen views and multitasking with apps. Perhaps one of the biggest perceived barriers from shifting from a laptop or a desktop to putting more of your workflow onto iOS and the iPad. My iPad is a 12.9 inch 2018 iPad Pro. I chose the larger version because it just gives that little bit more real estate to get this kind of split screen view working. It's just right, for example, to be typing and writing in one uh, whilst referencing something next to it in a second view and then using the kind of floating card view over the top for say a music app or perhaps a file app where I can then just drag and open a document from there. Swiping four or five fingers together will reveal the multitasking view, a quick way to do that. We can swipe up from the bottom um, and swiping individual screens in that view upwards will close them. Swiping with four fingers to the side allows you to jump quickly between apps that are open or simply swipe that little bottom bar of the app to move between apps. To use a split screen view, my favorite way to do that is open an app, open the bar or use the um, search function, drag a second app next to it and you'll have that split screen view. Dragging another app into the middle of the page will show you a means of getting it to float in this card view. You can drop it down and it also allows you to stack uh, views. So for example, if I drop another app onto the card view, they'll be in a stack. And in the card view, you can jump between apps uh, within that floating stack by swiping the bottom bar. To move or hide the floating uh, card view, you can swipe the bar on the top of the card um, to take it out of the way of the screen and it'll be there waiting for you. To exit or adjust split screen views, just simply move the central bar to the side. I really like the way Apple have designed the screen into thirds, meaning you can always have a fuller view of a document and then a kind of mobile phone width view of another and by moving the bar, jump back and forth to fuller views. That is class. Some apps, such as GoodNotes 5, my go-to writing and drawing app, allow multi-screen views of the same app. So just try whatever apps you've got and see which ones allow it. Now, if you know me and you know the channel, you'll know that I'm a big fan of Notion and using it to organize life. And it doesn't have a split screen view. Awkward. So I can use it with other apps, but I can't use it with itself. But 
I have a workaround. Of course, I have a workaround. For many web-based platforms like Notion, uh, you can simply open the app, then open a web browser like Chrome and open that app if it has a web function. And then there you go, you've got a dual screen view of the same app. It's brilliant for things like uh, writing in Notion whilst referencing something else on your iPad. That is a fantastic little hack. If you like watching YouTube or Netflix on your iPad but should be getting work done, swiping videos in Netflix up and to the right or clicking here on YouTube in a web browser puts it into picture-in-picture -picture mode. Amazing! Uh, not sure that's a productivity tip, but enjoy it nonetheless. So make sure to leave any comments below of stuff that I haven't covered on this video that you think people watching it might love to know about. Let's talk about home screen design. Now you'll notice that my home screen is designed for a minimal aesthetic and to blend both shortcuts and actions and folders with standard apps. I use icon packs. Now for example, I have a folder icon that is a bookmark to take me straight to a selected folder in a file uh, using a kind of clever system. If you want to know how to do this and how I designed this wider system on my homepage, check out my minimal iPad setup video. After this, I'll also link the bookmarks um, and the kind of, you know, the icon packs below. Dropping less used apps into folders by holding them and then moving them is a great way to clean up and simplify your daily view for a more frictionless workflow and a clean, less cluttered look. I keep essential apps in the main bar at the bottom, then second level apps for me in the home screen and everything else goes into themed folders or just kind of places to store them. I can always search for them later on by using the command uh, space button or swiping down. Now, I've heard, and I think we know in fact, that in iOS 15, Apple are bringing the app library that we have on the iPhone at the moment to the iPad. It's gonna be even better way then of keeping a clean and simple home screen and still having access to all the apps that you wanna keep on your device. Widgets. Now, widgets are a great way to customize your navigation as well. I have two that link to my Notion life management system for quick access, for example, here to my daily notebooks and my content creation dashboard. To edit and explore widgets, swipe them in from the left um, or swipe them if they're already there, and once they're there, to edit them. And if you haven't set them to remain on your home screen like I have, you can swipe this toggle at the top once you're in edit to do that. And I think it's a much better look. Clicking on the plus sign in the top left corner when you're in the edit mode, you can add new widgets and you can click on existing widgets to edit them. Dragging one widget onto another also allows you to create a stack so that you can scroll through them as you wish. I use widgets for quick views to things like time zones, calendar views and important information. I particularly like the new Google Calendar What's Next view. Um, there are also some great third party apps like Widget Smith that allow you to customize the look of your widgets for a more minimal or simplified aesthetic. I mean, who doesn't want that? It's a big focus of this channel. If you've made it to this point, please send me some love in the form of a comment or a like. It really does help this content reach other people and supports the channel. I'd be much appreciative. It would be awesome if you subscribed if you're not already, and it would be great if you checked out some of these videos next. Bye. Let's talk about navigation and gestures. <laughs> gestures, gestures, gestures. <laughs>